Hi. Hey. Well, I said hey, ladies. And I said hi. And said hey. But last time when I said hi, you had a problem with it. <laughs> she always come for me. <laughs> Don't care what day it is. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hi. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be hey, here. Everybody. Thank you, Kiana. <laughs> what is your name? She's not my on the show today. My name is Kiana Thompson. I'm Erica King. My name is Katrina Harley. Hard-headed. Yes. Okay. And we are real. Two. Oh, I was looking this way. I know. <laughs> And today we don't have any perfume because the scent by Kiana, she took a break. So I did this thing last week. Well, and I didn't really take a break. You know, it's the new scents that's coming out for the holiday sale, right? This not a, this not a holiday scent though. It's just a scent. Oh. Anyway, I really love candles from um, Bath and Body Works, and of course, when they had a sale last week, I decided to go get in line for everybody. I just like shopping, so Everyone it was exciting. except me. Because Kiana still has all her candles from the last sale, and she doesn't burn them as often as everybody else. So, <laughs> she didn't get any candles this year. However, we got candles, so I chose one of the candles that's one of the scents that I used to run from, but I lit a candle at the house, and it smelled really, really good. So, this scent is called Tiki Beach. And this will be the first time they smell it, because I don't think she... She likes more... It's not my favorite. ...strong stuff. I like the sweet Oh, that's nice. Smell. So like this that. one is a mixture of, and the bottom of the candles always have what coconut. it's mixed with. Um, it has some coconut, orchids, coconut. and vanilla. I like that one. And it smells really good. This one is Tiki Beach, so that's our scent for today. And <laughs> we can't rub it on our skin, but you can light it up in your house and it'll smell really good. It does take a while, though. You have to, your house is big. You have to use more than one candle oh, to smell it, okay? <laughs> We light about, I light about four of them to really smell it. At your house, I think you have like four or five at a time. Yeah. Your house, you should be lighting at least three or four. Yeah. Because sure. you have open space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. So, it smells That's good true. though. So, all right. So, what are we talking about today, girl? Let's talk about the Instagram post that you saw. Okay. But you were supposed to pretend oh. like you saw it, not me. But, okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's talk about it. It's right before the holidays. You know, everybody is budgeting mm -hmm. and preparing for what they're going to do next year. I seen a, a post and it basically said, um, realtors throw you in a house. Um, and I believe we had a conversation we about did. it. We did. And we all have different takes on it. Um, my stand is you have to know your realtor. You have to trust your realtor. Mm -hmm. Um, because we have reasoning. I make sure I explain everything to my clients. Have to. I explain why it's a good house based on you liking it or not. Mm -hmm. Why you should look into something else. We always recommend inspections. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes clients don't understand the financial piece. You want a bigger, better house, but if you can't afford it, I'm not going to push you into something you're going to lose. Right. And I think there's a difference between affording a house and pushing someone to buy a house. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm never going to be that person to force you to buy a house. Okay. If that's something that you like, you know, you like it. Um, like our, our broker mentioned, Leroy, earlier, we're looking at structural things. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not looking at cosmetic things. Right. Mm -hmm. Because everyone has a different vision. Because right. everybody wants and the pretty, I perfect house. Doesn't have, I don't have that vision. <laughs> okay. I don't have that vision. So I'm looking to make sure that, you know, everything is sound from what you can see. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's something that you like, of course, I'm going to like it as well. But I'm never going to push someone to buy a house because I want to make that sale. Correct. So that's Trina. just my take. Um, <clears throat> I look at the value of the home. Um, pretty much like what we're saying. Mm -hmm. I look at the value of the home and a lot of times the uh, new home buyers, they do not understand that it's more than just paint. Yes. And it's more than just what the floors look like. It is a sound structure mm -hmm. and what this house would be able to do for you, not for to just today, but for years to come. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can't see that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you look at a home. Oh, I like the house because it has five windows on this one side mm -hmm. or the bathroom has this little you know sink mm -hmm. that I like all of that can be changed mm -hmm. but what is the house worth mm -hmm. how much equity are you going to be able to build mm -hmm. from that home are you going to be able to pull that equity mm -hmm. when you're ready to pull it and how valuable it is for you so you have to like you said you have to mm -hmm. trust your realtor you have to trust that your realtor know what they're doing that we've done our research and that we're looking out for the best um 
the best case scenario for you. Mm -hmm. And I think that real life is um, whenever you do something that you're not used to doing, you second guess yourself afterwards because yeah. there's always better. Like for me, as soon as my clients go into contract, I stop them from receiving houses oh, because you yes, will see absolutely. another house that you think is better, but you don't know if your contract is going to be accepted right. for that house. Mm -hmm. And it exactly. gets you confused. Like the best example, because y'all know I pick at my kids all the time. The best example is me like, oh, I wanted a boy so bad. I tried four times. I, if I knew then what I know now. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have gave up like been okay with the first one right. you know so right. I think that that same concept for me as a realtor mm -hmm. is in the home I bought an ugly house and my house gorgeous. was an old person house and I, I, I knew that it was an updated roof updated AC that was things that I experienced in my old house so I didn't have to worry about thinking about those things now yeah we still did some adjustments but the whole inside of my house looks completely different yes. and mm -hmm. it's really pretty yes, now yes it is but I didn't well, I didn't walk in. The, I walked in the house like these floors look like poop. Same thing with my house. It was ugly. It was yeah, ugly. Mine I was didn't like, like mediocre. it. It's like everything was Carpet, basic. Base, yeah, very basic. Everything, everything was, was basic. like from the builder, and it was like from Micah cabinets. Ooh, mm. the floors were like the Spanish towel, the little small towels. Mm. So you don't have to buy a pretty house. No, that's what we're saying. Not. You can make your house. No, I don't think there is any one of my clients that moved into their home that they purchased and left it exactly the way they purchased it. Cause that's kind of like the idea. Mm -hmm. You make it home, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You make it yours. Unless like you're buying a new construction home and, and you, you chose have, options. Right, you have that okay. input. But if you're buying a, a resale, you know, you have to understand, number one, you have time to make the house yours. Mm -hmm. It does not have to be exactly the way that you want it as soon as you purchase it. Mm -hmm. But you have time to build to that. And that's the beauty of it all. That you don't have to spend every piece mm -hmm. of dollar that's yep. in your savings account to make the house what it is. But the fact that you have secured you a property is generational worth. Well, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right. Girl, okay, you preach it. I'm be nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> So, and that's true because I just came over your house and I said, Trina, how often do you change the decoration? And what did you say? Often. And what did I say? <laughs> Give me your stuff because yes. now I'll do this decoration. Yes. <laughs> because you don't, she's like, I throw everything on the garbage. No, give it to me. I start after you. And you know, someone else I know throws things in the garbage too. They don't like to hold on to things. Mm -mm. I don't have a room. Every time them. you say someone else, <laughs> everybody knows who you're talking about. We all do it. Every last one of us be like somebody. The somebody is Leroy. So, <laughs> just recently, we did the kids' rooms over, and um, we took the sheets off LJ's bed, and he said, what are we going to do with these? Throw them away? So, you can't wash the sheets and leave them in the closet for the uh, next time? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Tell him, don't, well, I don't have a boy. <laughs> If I would have had a boy, I would say donate it this way, but we know. I so what I've discovered is, I mean, it's been around forever, but what I've discovered is offer up. It is amazing. Like whatever it is that you don't want anymore, put it on offer up. And it's like a swarm of people that will come in. <laughs> so buy it here's the joke about <laughs> Katrina. <laughs> She discovers things that we knew about three or four years ago, and then she gets really excited <laughs> to tell us. And we all have used Offer Up, know about Offer Up, but she just I learned think about I it. I sold a wedding dress on Offer Up. And how long have you been married? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. So, Katrina just so. found out about Offer Up. Okay, Katrina. But it was the first, I mean, I've purchased off of Offer Up, but I've never thought about all of this furniture and stuff when I change to sell it. Versus giving it away or putting it on. Don't know, try to don't to try to recant giving me your stuff now. It's too late. We already talked about it. Mm. Okay. Moral of the story <laughs> is it's okay to second guess yourself, but you have to trust somebody. So yeah. when you're choosing your realtor, mm -hmm. choose someone that you. I think. No, not I think. I know everybody under Combs Premier Realty do consultations. We Absolutely. talk to clients. Yes. We want you to get to know us. Yes. Um, and we want to get to know you. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I used this example previously. A previous show is that that's how I choose my closing gifts. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't have one set thing. And I yes, kind of want it to. That. But I don't. And I hear my clients mm -hmm. through every showing. They mention something that they really want when they purchase their home. And if it's something that I can afford to get. Yes. I try to make it my business to do it. Mm -hmm. So we want to know you. You have to trust mm -hmm. us. 
and it's okay to buy a first home and then everything you didn't get in your first home yes, you'll get you can get it in your second, second home or third or fourth you don't have to your first home is not your Last. end all be all mm -hmm. right. it could be an investment property it could be a recovery house mm -hmm. property yes i just thought a shout out to case recovery <laughs> case recovery <laughs> So, and I think that we should start doing that. Like some of our followers have their own businesses. Maybe we'll try to incorporate a way to shout out a different oh, yeah. business oh, every time. Nice. Mm -hmm. And that'd be good because I have this dress from a boutique, Raw Couture Boutique. She pretty much gets me most of my dresses. Um, you guys can follow her on Instagram, Raw Couture. Um, you, and then, buy, you buy a lot from her. I love her. Yeah. I, I love her. So I like all the vendors that I use. My hairstylist, makeup artist. I mm -hmm. try not to cheat. Sounds good. On my vendors. <laughs> i cheat on y'all all the time but um no no so we'll start doing that as mm -hmm. well you know once a week we'll try to mm -hmm. get you know whatever vendor that we use and maybe we something. can show like a, a a clip of their page or something like yeah, that yeah so that's follow. cool we I gotta talk to our little media director yes somebody be difficult <laughs> <laughs> anyway thank you everybody for tuning in with us today a realtor cannot throw you into our home but they can no. help you get into a house and you make it your home and just trust the process trust, trust the, the process. process see you guys next week bye, bye.